Mr. Speaker, I've looked at this legislation. My colleagues have looked at this legislation. And I understand there are a lot of people out there that feel with cancer and chemo <coughs> that marijuana can help them with their appetite. It can help them to possibly gain weight right when they need it. And it may be a comfort to some people. My problem is that we're opening doors here and we have a lot of words and in, it's kind of like arguing in a courtroom where you tell a judge that the definition of a word is one thing, but then arguing the next day that that word means something else. And that's what we have in this bill. No matter what my colleague says, it's written here as pain. The other thing that I'm afraid of is what this is can become a license for drug dealers. If a drug dealer gets a physician to certify him, he can walk around and according to this bill here, he can have it, have marijuana in his vehicle, in, uh, in his airplane, and a host of other places. So, and a police officer will not be able to arrest him for that violation. So it's a license to be a, a drug dealer. I have a lot of reservations with this bill. Number one, we're going to be violating federal laws. And if you allow this to be transported through the mail, which I believe it's going to happen under this bill, basically we're acting in concert. And I think that the state will have criminal liabilities for moving forward with this type of legislation. There are a lot of holes in this legislation. I think it needs to go back to the drawing board, and I believe you're going to have a lot of questions here today. And instead of just ramming this bill through our, down our throats, like often happens in this chamber, I think that this bill should be reconsidered. Thank you.